guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a meal plan um, for weight loss, or I should say fat loss. Yeah, so as many of you know right now, I am trying to lose just maybe possibly 10 more pounds, or really I don't even care what the number says on the scale. I just have some excess fat that I would like to get off my body just a little bit. And I think everyone who is trying to reach a goal, whatever that is, you have to have a, a plan, a way to get there. So having meal plans on hand are a great way to get to a specific fat loss goal. Now for me, um, the one thing with meal plans, I've done so many, gosh, throughout my um, life of dieting, I'm so happy to not be dieting anymore, but throughout my experiences dieting, I had tried so many meal plans in the past, and for me, they were always very overwhelming. There were so many different meals to make um, throughout the week, the grocery list was really long, I felt very overwhelmed, very stressed out, so I have found losing weight, it's been very easy for me to find just a handful of meals that I love and just rotate them throughout the week. So let's say for example, um, I have two favorite breakfast meals, two favorite lunch meals, and two favorite dinner meals, and I just I have those two, I have all the ingredients in stock in my pantry and in my refrigerator, and I just rotate those two breakfasts, those two lunches, those two dinners throughout the week, and it just makes things so much easier. I already know what I'm gonna eat. Like I said, I already have all the items here in my home, and it just helped me, um, and still does, stay on track, and that's just what I do. I thought I would pass that tip on to you to help make things easier, and I think it would be fun every couple weeks to kind of give you these meal plan videos, just again, so you can be prepared throughout your health and wellness journey. But before I jump in my kitchen, if you're over on Instagram, you're gonna wanna get over there and enter this giveaway that I am doing with Erin and Dusty over at Eat, Move, Rest, Chelsea May Cullen, plant-based Gabriel and Crocs in the kitchen. I am so excited to be teaming up with this, these guys to be doing this giveaway and we have some amazing prizes. We're gonna have three winners, so we encourage you to head on over to Instagram and enter the giveaway. We just wanna make this way of living so easy for you guys. We have had such great success with um, a whole foods plant-based diet and we want you to as well, so um, we hope to see you over on Instagram and yeah, really excited about it. Um, but I'm also really excited to show you these meals. So let's just get up and do it. All right, so for the first meal, we're gonna be making a smoothie bowl. This is something that I love to have quite frequently. Um, this is just gonna be a chocolate one, and so we're just gonna be using some cacao powder, a frozen banana, some plant milk, a date. Um, you wanna make sure you get pitted dates. If not, you wanna take the the pit out, um, and then we're just gonna be using some spinach. going to be putting bran flakes because you get just the same great amount of crunch um, from bran flakes, look at that, um, as you do with granola. You just have way less calories. So I am using some bran flakes here. Uh, normally I would be putting fresh strawberries on top of my smoothie bowl, but I didn't have any, so I took some um, frozen ones. And then I'm gonna be putting a little bit of ground flaxseed.
So for our first lunch, we're just making a quinoa and edamame bowl, if you wanna call that. I'm just taking frozen edamame and frozen quinoa. Now this has some veggies in the quinoa. Throwing it in a bowl, putting it in the microwave. My favorite thing, one of my favorite things to keep in stock at my house is frozen rice, frozen quinoa, frozen veggies for quick and easy dishes. Now, once this comes out the microwave, I'm just throwing nutritional yeast and reduced sodium soy sauce on top. I'm mixing it together and that is it, you guys. But this meal is so flavorful, it's so good, it's so filling, it's one of my favorites. For lunch number two, we're making um, a potato salad that we all love in this house. Now, I am very proud of these potatoes. I have grown these myself. Amazing, I think. Um, I'm throwing them in the Instant Pot for eight minutes, and then while those cool, I'm just throwing in a bowl, a large bowl, a lot of greens. I just get this 50-50 blend from Whole Foods. And then I like to just kind of slice my little two bite potatoes in half. And usually when I do that, the skin just really comes off easily. So I'm doing skinless potatoes. You can obviously keep the skin on if you'd like. And then I'm pouring on my Hungry Vegan Mama dressing or sauce. And I will link that in the description for you. And then once I mix that around, I just throw it on top of the lettuce and you have yourself a delicious potato salad. And my son absolutely, <laughs> he loves this uh, for lunch. All right, dinner number one, frozen veggies again. Always one of my favorites. Now I'm pouring in some black beans. Now I'm just pouring them directly from the can. I strained them, but if you get no salt added, you don't, you don't have to. I just don't like that bean juice in here. So I'm adding in about half a can of black beans. Then I'm gonna be adding some of this Sky Valley taco sauce. This has no oil in this, and I will link it in the description. This is one of our favorite taco sauces that we use in this house. And actually, I'm lying. I'm going to be using salsa for this dish. I, I just wanted to show you the taco sauce. Um, so I'm putting a little bit of salsa in here. All right, so for this last dinner, I'm just taking frozen veggies. You can use any frozen veggies you want. I'm doing carrots, um, peppers, and peas. I'm throwing in some rice with this. Again, you can use any kind of rice you want, frozen, fresh, leftover, it doesn't matter. I'm adding in some sweet chili sauce and a little bit of reduced sodium soy sauce, and I'm mixing this together. And again, all of these recipes are in the description box. And then I'm just putting on a little bit of chopped up peanuts for topping and so easy and delicious again. Oh my goodness, love this meal. All right, there are some meals for your meal plan. I hope this, again, just makes things so much easier for you. Being prepared is gonna help you get to that end goal. And I think having a meal plan or meals uh, maybe on the back burner, in the back of your mind, food already in stock for those meals, I think that's a, a great way to, um, to go. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That just lets me know, hey, like, I wanna see more of these. Also, of course, it helps out this channel. Um, again, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to see you stick around. And otherwise, I hope y'all have a fabulous, blessed week. I will be seeing you next Monday. Um, I got a lot going on today. It's summertime, you know, me and the kids, we going places.